Online only banks, also known as virtual banks or direct banks, have broken away from the traditional model of banking, all while offering their customers the same, if not better, services and interest rates. But how can these banks make their way into Korea? Eunice Kim has more. Checking your balance, making transfers, taking care of banking errands in person has become a thing of the past, thanks to the convenience of online and phone banking. And there could soon be the option of doing all banking-related business virtually, thanks to a planned introduction of Internet-based banks this year. A commercial for an overseas online-only bank. The husband takes care of the chores his wife left him all within the comfort of his couch, since he's hooked up to the web. One of the merits of such a system would be lower fees, as there would be no need for operating or payroll costs tied to a brick-and-mortar bank. Internet-based banks have been around in the U.S., Europe and Japan since the 90s. In Korea, attempts to establish them in 2002 and 2008 were blocked, never making it through the National Assembly due to unresolved issues. We need to realign institutions and practices that have made change impossible. We also need to re-examine regulations that have kept bank capital and industrial capital separate. Relaxing such rules, as well as those that require in-person identity authentication, are just some of the tasks that still need to be ironed out. It just takes one irresponsible finance company to destroy any trust in the industry as a whole. Also left to consider, how can the virtual banks be structured so that they make money and so that they don't become personal coffers of conglomerates? All questions that must be addressed before the banks of tomorrow are to arrive today. Eunice Kim, Arirang News.